my name is gulshan banu working as an assistant professor ai and ds department uh, sns college of engineering so in the previous video we saw different topics like uh, heuristic searching strategies heuristic functions local search and optimization problem the next topic that is related with the problem solving agent is local search in continuous space so the topic itself states that you are doing a searching process in a very uh, gridded manner continuous space okay say for example let me go to the last slide so that you will be able to understand like why we are doing this process and what is the main reason that we are continuing with this process okay now you see in this example you have n number of dotted lines that dotted lines are the different solutions that is being given and the different solutions that is being mapped in a graph so in that graph there is a line given that connects all the graph together in one single line right so the solution or the maximum dotted lines where it gathers we have to draw a line that is associated with it okay now we will see like what is the concept and what is the methodologies that is being used in this okay now what is local search in continuous space a local search is first conducted in the continuous space until a local optimum is reached local optimum is the uh, straight line we saw in the uh, in the first right that is the local optimum value that is being done it is then switched to a discrete space that represents a discretization of a continuous model to find a improved solution from there if we have any kind of improvisation you can do it and further okay the process continues switching between the two problem form relations until no further improvements can be found in it to perform the local search in continuous uh, state space we need techniques from calculus calculus is one of the technique that is being used from the mathematical operations the main technique to find is to the is to find a minimum in the gradient descent method we will see like what is gradient descent and how it is done now what is gradient descent a gradient descent is something that measures how much the output of a function changes if you change the input even a very little bit okay in machine learning a gradient is a derivative of a function that has more than one input variable you can form a slope based on it okay it is an iterative process this gradient descent is really an iterative process and it is an optimization algorithm for finding a local minimum of a differentiated function Okay. Now we will see how we uh, de deal it with it. Now when you take a linear regression, it is uh, statistics. The linear regression is a linear approach to modulating the relationship between the dependent variable and one or more independent variable. Dependent variable is something which is static, and uh, um, the uh, independent variable is something which is really, uh, which is really very uh, not uh, which is not static, which is dynamic, and you can change it. Okay. now when you take with an uh, with the line equation of y equal to mx plus c we will have different formulas that is being associated now the ultimate goal is to substitute the equation with m equal to m minus l into dm and c so now why are we calculating this m and c is to find the goal state to find the linear solution for the complete process okay now we will see how to do the process first we will take the mean squared value mean squared value is nothing but to find the difference between the different equations that you are following so now that the you will be defining it as 1 by n summation of n i equal to 0 y i minus y i the whole bar the whole square now when you substitute the y i the whole bar equation as mx i plus c you will get the value of e in a very different manner now what is called as a loss function the loss function are different errors that is being accumulated with m and c now how will you calculate the mean squared value to formulate the lo uh, loss function is first you have to find the differences okay now then you have to find the square value and then you have to find the mean square for every value in x now when we are applying it in the manner the initially the m and c will be denoted as zero because we are uh, initiating the value and the l value is nothing but the loss value since the loss value is very much important the loss value is really taken in a very minimalistic manner that is 0.001 for the good accuracy the next step is calculate the partial derivative of the loss function that you will be substituting the value with uh, the given values and that will be defined as dm equal to 1 divided by n summation of i equal to 0 
2 of yi minus mx of i plus c minus of uh, xi. Now when you uh, uh, solve the solution you will uh, find out the actual value as dm equal to minus 2 divided by n. Summation of i equal to 0 of n, x of i, y of i minus y of i the whole bar. Now when we are updating the values of m and c in the given value, you will be uh, determining the values of m and c. The step 4 is we repeat this process until our loss function is very small or ideally 0. Okay. Now when we uh, calculate it in a very formulating manner, we will be defining or we will be getting this uh, equation in a very effective manner. So this is all about the local search and optimization. So in the next video, we will uh, I will meet you with a very different topic. If you have any doubts in this topic, you can please comment in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much.